Hey guys, so Crown Jewel 602 um, coming to you today with a nice, uh, I don't know, dark, dark goth eye and light blush, lots of concealer, light bubblegum pink lip, and um, a nice amount of highlight on my brow bone. And headed out the door to class, and I just wanted to do something different. Um, than I normally do. So this is my dark look. If you like dark looks, I have this one. And then I also have one called Night Swim, which is really similar. And yeah, so if you want to see um, how I achieve this look, just stay tuned. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so to start today, I used my um, Benefit Stay Don't Stray primer. And let me see if I can zoom in a little more. There we go. Okay, I use my Benefit Stay Don't Stay Primer, and um, yeah, so that's that's that. Now I'm going to use be using my Smashbox Duo in Glow Getter. Um, I'm going to use this on my crease before I do anything else, and it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone, and it's just to give myself a nice transition for the look that I'm going to be doing here. So there's that. Alright, now as a base today, um, I'm going to be using this um, Eye Studio in Charcoal. It's like a gel liner. I'm going to be taking a little bit of that on my finger. Feel free to use a brush if you'd like. Um, a brush is obviously going to be um, a little less messy but I'm more precise with my finger than I am with a brush. And as you can see I'm just concentrating solely on the lid. Now after I feel like I've got that pretty well based I might rub it in a little more with my finger just so it's nice and smooth and even to give it a little more crisp, crispness <laughs> um, I'm going to be taking my NYX um, eye pencil in black bean and I'm just going to trace the edges just to give it a nice crisp edge and a place to stop also hitting the inner corner where I didn't get with my finger and I'm also going to line my lash line because I'm going to be placing some color there. Okay. So now that we have that, um, my next step is going to be to take my color, which I'm going to be using this Urban Decay, um, the Book of Shadows 2 palette, and I'm going to be taking this black color here in Perversion, and it has a slight shimmer. Feel free to use a matte color if um, that's what you like. I'm going to be taking a stiff um, condensed brush because I'm going to essentially be packing this color on. So I pick up my black, tap off the excess, and then pat the color on. And it gives it a nice smoked out effect. As you can see. There we go. So I'm going to go again with my um, crease color, my crease brush, and I'm just going to make sure to hit that up. There we go. Now, Next, I'm going to be taking a liner brush, and I'm going to be taking this is my little MAC palette, um, the Mystic Cool series, and I'm going to be taking this deep um, blue, picking up that color, and I am going to line my lash line on top of that black with this.
And it's not that much of a contrast from the top, but it's enough to tell that you have color there. Okay. All right, now having done that, I am going to now take the um, lighter color of my Smashbox Duo, a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone area. Now as a last and final step, I'm going to take my um, gel liner in zero. You can use the NYX pencil, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to line the table of my eye. Okay. Alright. So in all honesty, that's like pretty much the look. I'm just going for a blacked out sort of gothic inspired eye. What I'm going to do now is put on a little bit of concealer and um, do my lashes and then I will be right back. Okay, so um, for my concealer, same old concealer, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to get a new one soon. I just I stick with what I like when it works, you know. And then um, for my mascara, I used um, the new one by one because it's good for separation. And then I also used Dior Show Blackout because it's good for drama. And with this look being so dark, you um, almost want to wear false lashes, but I'm just going to class, so that'd be too much. Um, but yeah, so there we go. There's that. Now for my blush today, I'm going to be using an actual blush brush, and I'm going to be picking up a light color. I know you guys are looking like, yeah, right, that's going to look okay on you, but trust me. And the reason why I'm using such a light color is because when you have a um, dark eye like this, for some reason, everything else light, if you do all your accents, your lip gloss or lipstick or your blush and highlight light, it turns out really well. So, there's my blush and I use a nice amount of concealer because you want a crisp under eye area when you do this. Also, I'm going to be using um, a highlight and it is uh, my Shimmer Stripes in OMG. And I'm just going to be taking that and I'm going to highlight the under eye area and the top part of my cheeks. And there's that. Okay, and then for my lips, I'm going to be taking this nice, look at it, it's like a bubblegum pink color. And it is in Pageant Princess. And I already got some out here, so I'm just going to... a light nude color but this bubblegum pink color just seems to work today so that's the finished look um just a quick blacked out look um i don't wear a lot of dark looks so this is my little goth look for today um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it blackout <laughs>